Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Synergic and today we are reacting to I Went to Japan. If you are new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. This one's a little different. I, this is not a series. I'm not doing any kind of series. Um, but <clears throat> if you're on my Twitter, you know that, I don't know, it's maybe a few weeks ago I started to actually learn Japanese. My, my kind of appreciation for Japan kind of started a long time ago when I was a kid. Not like, I, I don't watch anime, I've never really done any of that. It's, it's more of, I played a game when I was a kid. It was called Shogun Total War. It was the first game where I really kind of played it, enjoyed it, and went, huh. I want to learn more. And, and then I kind of did. I just kind of deep dove into that time period within Japan. So whenever I saw this starting up this video, which is a few years old now, pop up on my feed, I'm like, huh, I should probably watch that. Because at some point, I want to go to Japan. I want to visit the place that I have had this fascination with for such a long time. And I want to experience that. Maybe even stay there a little while. I don't know. But as soon as I saw this video, I'm like, let's go. I think this is a comedy, so I might be laughing a lot. I have my coffee. Hopefully I won't spit it out. In October, I went on the first vacation I've been on with my family in years. My dad works super hard all the time, so yeah. normally it would be either my brother, mom, and me, or just me and my mom. And even those vacations became pretty sparse. Yeah. It's been over 10 years since we've all had a family vacation, and all of a sudden we have a week to be squished together in a foreign country. So how'd this one go? Uh... <laughs> We arrived at the Tokyo airport after a nice and easy 11 hour flight and got off the plane like, wow, I can't believe we finally made it. We've been planning and looking forward to this trip for almost a year and it's finally happening. How do we get out of here? We walked around the airport for two hours trying to figure out what we had to do, which train we had to get. We lost dad. This is why I'm like learning the language. The sea of Asians. I'd already expected the worst and thought he was dead. But no worries. Turns out he wasn't taken out by the Japanese mafia. What? My mom had to get train tickets and he this had to really take good care animation. of the luggage. So we split up and planned to meet at a ticket counter. But little did we know there were two of them on opposite ends of the floor. And as the stereotype goes, they looked exactly the same. So my parents were just <laughs> grumbling and waiting for each other to show up at the opposite ticket stand with no method of communication because we didn't have Wi-Fi yet. After figuring that out and getting to the Tokyo station, we had to use the subway to get to our hotel. None of us grew up in the city and using the subway was new to us, so we had to look at the train station map to see what to do. Yeah, it looks pretty confusing. Uh, it kind of looks like New York, almost, because New York is, like, ridiculously confusing. Chicago's is nice. Chicago, where I live, if you've ever been to Washington, D.C., D.C. has, like, one of the easiest underground metro stations that I've ever seen. And I would say that Chicago is kind of a mix between like the complexity of New York and with the bit of an ease of, of DC. So this looks pretty confusing. This looks pretty confusing. Yeah. It doesn't like, it kind of reminds me of, of not Chicago. Chicago is less complex. Maybe a mix between like New York and Chicago. And is this the Windows 98 pipe <laughs> screensaver? What is this? Props to people who use the Metro daily or even just know how to figure that stuff out because that's like a whole Bill Gates secret code and the consequence of making a mistake is paying to be plopped in an area you never wanted to be at in the first place. We didn't even know how to start reading the map so my dad resorted to the only logical option. Do you speak English? Oh God. Do you speak English? Oh no. Uh, please, uh, when was this? Did you Google? <laughs> A good 90% of the time we were lost. Did Google Translate not exist? So not that it's the best, but... So my dad would keep walking up to random Japanese people and trying to communicate with them in English, even though we were in a country no. that doesn't speak English. And when Many. they obviously wouldn't understand, he would just try to say it all again but slower, uh, like that was gonna make a difference. But we found a guy named Paul who helped us out. Thank you, Paul. Uh, Japan is super different from the States. I didn't really know what to expect. That's why I like Mom it. And I were super hyped after experiencing and learning about the culture. Dad and Jack's not so much, but they like the food. So here's what happened. First morning, woke up- How would you go to a place and not want to experience that place? Like, like to me, I have, I have been to other places before, thankfully. I've been very lucky in that way. Like, how do you go to a place and not want to experience everything that that place has to offer? Like, to me, I don't even want to visit most of the touristy areas. I want to see, like, what... I'm going to sneeze. 
I don't even want to like see most of the touristy things. I want to see like the normal everyday stuff. Like I want to be immersed into that culture. Like I just want to B. Early to do a Tokyo bus tour. This time, after our best friend oh Paul taught us the ropes, we were experts at navigating the subway. We got on the wrong train. We stopped at a cafe for breakfast, and it was at that point where I realized I wasn't going to be able to use the image translation app I downloaded to try and make communication easier while we were there. It would have been super awesome to just hover the camera over the Japanese symbols and have the phone immediately be like, hey, this is what this says. But it wasn't working the way I thought it would. I don't speak Japanese, but I'm pretty sure they weren't selling a surprised egg topped with the first <laughs> time the first time in fabric. <laughs> I don't think that's a thing. Who married an egg and why is she so surprised? The tour was fun. We went to a forest with some shrines, saw surprised some sumo wrestlers, went up the Tokyo Tower. Pretty cool Asian stuff. Second day, we walked on Japan's big famous crosswalk that looks like the B-movie's traffic system. Pressed F for the dog that waited nine years for his dead owner to return from the train station. I love you, Hachiko. Went to a hedgehog cafe. Press F for respect. Train. Mega Donkey. Spent uh, way too much money at the Pokemon Center. Naturally. Nothing at a big arcade. And then collapsed into bed. <laughs> I should probably slow things down a bit so you can really take in. Day whatever. Wrong train. Rice Day cups, whatever. Tiny banana snack. My brother said it tasted weird. Walking tour. Oh god, my legs hurt. More noodles. Went to sleep. <laughs> we had another bus tour around Kyoto, and one of the stops was this thousand golden statues temple that was really cool, and we learned about a bunch of gods. One of which I, a Pokemon master, already recognized since it was the inspiration behind Thunderous. <laughs> Another one of the stops on the bus tour was this temple called Kiyomizu Dera. And there's a whole backstory to this place where some people would do this thing called taking the plunge, which was seen as a bold and desperate extreme wish-making act. So it's simple. What you do is jump off the 43-foot temple balcony and not die. And not That's die. literally it. I'm not joking. In the Edo period, people believe that if they put their lives in the hands of Kanon, the god of mercy, you'd be granted a wish, given you don't die because he doesn't give wishes to corpses. During that time, 200 <laughs> people jumped and 85% of them survived, which I'd say is actually a pretty good ratio. That is One pretty good. apparently even jumped twice. What? Hey, my my wish didn't come true. Well, guess I, I guess I should jump again. again. <laughs> well, I don't let you do that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Which I think is fair, I guess. Yeah. Anyway, that wasn't even where I was going with that place. There's this little shrine area at the foot of the temple with three waterfalls, each representing either longer life, wisdom, or love. And if you drink mm. from one of them, it's believed that you'd be granted that particular category in life. But you only get one drink, thirsty hoe. So I go up there with my long <laughs> cup on a stick we get, and we're yeah, thirsty ho. Else is doing. They would get the water in the cup, wash one hand at a time, then pour some water into one hand to drink from, and let the rest drip into the pool below. Anyway, cut into the the chase basically you're in the presence of some pretty intense wisdom right now also there wasn't any place to dry your hands afterwards so i got wisdom water all over my pants <laughs> after that we saw the thousand red gates you're allowed to walk under them but apparently it takes like three hours to get through them all and we didn't have that time so we walked under like 10 and called it a day what? after waking up with some french toast that was lightly dusted with a pound of sugar my mom and i went to the studio ghibli museum i can't express how incredible that place was i would recommend it to anyone who has an appreciation for Ghibli or animation or art or anything. I'd show you how or mesmerizing anything. it is in there, but there's no filming or photos allowed inside, so mm. no spoilers here. I'm a child of the law. But I did snag this picture of the kids' play area because I thought it was adorable. That is adorable. Sometimes you just gotta break the rules when it's important. That's okay? right. We went to a conveyor belt sushi place, and mom had never been to one before, so she got overwhelmed and just immediately grabbed like five random things. I've been to one once before, but my skills aren't anywhere near coordinated. So when I tried to put the wasabi bowl back, I ended up clogging a bunch of plates and ruining a section of the sushi harmony and just being really obnoxious and I felt really bad. The next day we almost got on the wrong train. <laughs> the wisdom juice is kicking in. We went to the famous Sega arcade with eight floors. That nice was immensely intimidating. You know I how bet. you go to an arcade and there's always some Asian kid who's an absolute yeah. god at a game and <laughs> yeah. there's a little crowd watching because it's so mesmerizing and we're all pathetic. This is their hive. This is the enlightenment mountain they climbed for <laughs> 80 years and consume nothing but tears of tigers. Car racing, <laughs> combat games, oh, even the god. children were getting spit out the womb playing like monks. Oh this my guy. god. I don't know what game this is or the- What is that here, game? But the aura around him is screaming, leave here and never come back. 
Do they have gloves on? We were also introduced to this what? dance game I've never seen before called Dance Rush Stardom. It's like DDR, but with less arrows and 100% oh. more late oh. Melbourne shuffling. My brother and I tried to play it, and it felt like the whole country was like, oh, God, why are they here? They look Asian, <laughs> but they're white as crackers. <laughs> <laughs> we have it, so you know what, don't need you all yourself. Then we oh. often got on the wrong train. But the last night we went to this robot show, and let me tell you, this place was insane. So the main attractions of the place are these giant flashy robots and stuff. But okay. I gotta talk about these drinks and light bulbs they were selling. Oh. They were crazy with all oh. their blinking colors and such. It was like a little rave in a cup. Like, dude, it's a like with this stuff. It's and all a rave. Even wishes he did, I'll tell you that. You got to choose from like I want to be there. Choices, but most of them were alcohol, so I got I this peach juice instead. I'm legally allowed to drink now, but I'm not the biggest fan. And who knows how outrageous the drink would have looked if I. I was a bit tipsy. Anyway, definitely one of the most insane things I saw there for sure. Top of the list of the entire show. I know what she's doing here, but oh my god. Japan was so much fun, and she's it's become cranking one of my up that volume. With my family. But the thing is, when I started this script, I wanted to briefly mention what we did so I could talk about how much trouble I had getting back home because that was a whole situation of classic Jaden I thought you would enjoy. But here I am on page four of the script, and I haven't been able to show him anything. I don't like breaking stories into different parts, but mm. we're not animating a 20 minute video. I'd rather put my hands in the life of canon twice. So, yeah, Two times. see you in a few weeks with that. Hey, thanks for watching. So a bunch has happened since the last video. That was so funny. That was so good. Uh, she's so good at animating. Listen, Jaden, if you ever want to help me out. Anyways, like that was so cool. Make sure to check out her channel. As always, link to her video. The original video is, is in the description. It's so cute. Like, like one, her animations are awesome. Look at these. Two, like it was just hilarious. Like she's got some great storytelling. You throw in the animation with that, like it's perfect, man. No wonder she has 9 million subscribers. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you. Do take care. Be safe out there. Wash your hands, and I will see you in the next video. Bye! <laughs>